Next is another conversion from the question 10.22. What happens when ethyl chloride is treated with aqueous KOH? So ethyl chloride is CH3, CH2 and the Cl atom. Ethyl chain which has two, chlorine, two carbon atoms and a chloride group. Now this is going to be treated with aqueous KOH. In one of the videos I had explained clearly a difference between aqueous KOH and alcoholic KOH. Uh, the functions that they uh, go through because um, they will form totally different products. So when you have an alcoholic KOH, the alcoholic KOH will prefer to act as a base and the aqueous KOH will act as a nucleophile. Now this function is something you have to always keep in mind. Always look out for the nature of the reagent given to you. Only then go ahead and form a product. So aqueous KOH will act as a nucleophile and an alcoholic KOH will act as a base. So in this case, it's just aqueous KOH, which means it's going to act as a nucleophile. Now here the nucleophile is going to be OH minus. What is the function of this particular nucleophile? Is it is going to replace the Cl atom in ethyl chloride. So I'm going to write the product here where I have CH3, CH2, OH plus the Cl that went out is going to form bond with K to form KCl. So here it has formed ethyl alcohol from ethyl chloride all right so it is just a simple substitution reaction